Welcome back to Oak Haven. Thanks for stopping by to hear what uh, Kimber and I have been up to. I wanted to share with you a plant that's getting uh, very prominent in the woods right now. Uh, it's in bloom. This is honewort, Canadian honewort. It has a, um, small little flowers that are formed in umbels here. That's because it's in the, in the carrot family or the parsley family, the Apiaceae. I used to call it the uh, umbelliferae because the flowers are in umbels. That makes more sense to me than naming it after a, a genus. But that aside, this is a uh, honewort. Uh, it, it is in the parsley family. All parts of it are edible. Uh, that's not the case with all parsleys. Parsleys are an interesting family because they have very edible uh, members like turnips and carrots and parsley. And then they have very poisonous members like uh, poison hemlock, um, wild parsnip, which gives you a severe dermatitis. Uh, so it, it's interesting. But the reason for that is that uh, uh, all parts of it are full of resin glands that are, produce very aromatic, very flavorful compounds, which can be either good or bad. So um, it, it tastes a lot like parsley. You can use it uh, in cooking for like parsley. The root can be dug up and used like a turnip. The seeds, actually, if you're into uh, harvesting tiny little seeds, uh, can be used um, like a lot of uh, the, the parsley uh, family seeds can be used in a, as a, uh, an herb, um, like dill or coriander or um, anise. All those are in the parsley family. Uh, so you can see it, uh, it has a compound leaf with three leaflets. And like a lot of parsleys, it's got a very, it's got this membranous sheath around the base of the, the um, petiole here. Down at the bottom here, you can see, again, very membranous sheath. Um, that differentiates it from a lot of other, other plants. But um, uh, we're going to talk about some of the other things it could be confused with. This is uh, black snake root, clustered black snake root, which also has a, a compound leaf. Uh, but its leaves, generally you look at it and it looks like five. Uh, it's kind of three, and then two of them are dissected more, but it's more dissected than the honewort. And then the flower is very different. The, uh, the flower of the, the snake root is uh, just yellow and insignificant, and the flower of the honewort is bright white and cheerful. Um, so that's snake root. The other thing that um, people think about that it looks a little like, and not so much when it's not blooming, but over here is uh, anise root. Anise root has a similar spray of white umbels when it's in bloom, but the leaves don't look that like that uh, tri-compound uh, leaflet at all. Uh, so from a distance it would look similar, um, but not too similar. This is kind of interesting. There's a little spittle bug that's uh, created his home on the stem of this plant. One of the things I find really interesting about honewort is uh, in, if you're out in the early morning when there's dew, the dew tends to focus right around the margins of the leaf. Uh, and uh, just like lining it up, I'm not quite sure why it does that. The leaves are doubly serrated. So there's one major serration and then there's a minor serration in the middle. So that's Canadian honewort. Um, it's pretty prevalent. Thought you might be interested in it. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you're interested in subscribing, hit the subscribe button, like. If you've got comments, uh, we'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.